Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to be showing you a Photoshop tutorial uh, which is basically just kind of enhancing the colors, making them more vibrant uh, so they're not so dull. Now this is a raw picture here of just some sheep in New Zealand and this is what we'll be turning it into. Now we're going to be trying to boost in the boost like the colors and the vibrantness uh, without making it look false. Uh, this can maybe look false, you know, uh, actual pixels, yeah, you, it's, it's toe to toe, maybe a bit vibrant, you know, maybe if you didn't see the original image you might think, oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. But no, it's kind of very simple, we're just going to be using two layers, blending modes, and curves. So, we are just going to go, well, in fact, I'm going to work on this picture, might as well, as you got it raw here. Now what I'm going to do is go to curve, so just go to image, adjustment and curves. Now I want to change the red, green, blue. Now you can just kind of create a bit of contrast with these, you know. Drag it down and then up here, just create a bit of basic contrast, maybe not so extreme, not so harsh. More slight. Now I'm using a kind of like a field limp image, so the predominant colour is green. So change the channel to green and I'm just going to boost it up like so and this is kind of tones of the green up a bit as opposed to the red green and blue so it kind of just singles out the green like so and you know you can maybe go to the blue and I'll tone down the blue you know you might think oh you want to crank that up and it doesn't look good you can just change it about you know you'll find something that fits your image obviously if you're using red goose red instead of green you know just mess about with the images well with the car curves really find something that fits your image like so, I'm probably just gonna keep it there, and there we go. There we basically have it, basically made of curves. So I'm just gonna duplicate that layer. So hit Control J, make sure you've got the Move tool selected, and I'm gonna change the blend mode to Color Dodge. Now this will be a rather extreme, maybe on your image. So I'm just gonna turn it down to about 25%. In fact, a bit lower than that, about 15%. And that just kind of boosts it a little bit more, cranks it up. Yeah, no, that is pretty much about it, you know. Just kind of boosting the image, just to kind of give it that little something extra. Uh, depending on what photo you're using, it can work better better than others. Uh, this photo is maybe not the best, but you know, it, sh it does the job, and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, good for the people that follow photography, uh, etc. But that is it. Boosting colours just by using curves and colour dodge, new layers, whatever. Thanks for watching this video guys, please remember to like, comment and subscribe, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you learned something, and until next time, I'll see you guys soon.